everyone, this is your cat for Yule Updates. Let's discuss three dramas that recently aired. Do they fall into the typical pitfalls of C-drama endings, or are they worth the watch? In Blossom concludes with events leading the protagonist to face their most formidable adversary. Tension builds as the princess is coerced into suicide, and the heroine wrongly imprisoned as the culprit. Despite these trials, the main characters eventually break out of prison and expose Jia Tai Wei, the primary antagonist, as a spy. Victory comes at a cost as Zhuo Lanjiang is captured, tortured, and ultimately dies, though he manages to provide vital evidence using his corpse to ensure justice is served. The ending brings closure for some characters such as the male lead finding peace with his estranged father. But it also brings grief as the quartet, who made a pact to return to Heyang together, face the loss of a dear friend. After all, it took a while for the love triangle to resolve into two couples. Bai Xiaosheng has forever lost Atyang, leaving a sad ending for the second couple. The main couple usher in their happy ending back to their old post as the magistrate and forensic expert. The show leaves room for a potential sequel, revealing a mysterious mastermind at large. In the finale of Burning Flames, Wu Geng leads a rebellion against the oppressive Shen Zhu, culminating in a fierce battle with the antagonist Hei Long. Sacrifices are made throughout the conflict, including the loss of beloved characters like Bei Er, A Lan, Ni Tian Er Sing, as well as the death of Xin Yue Kui. The final showdown sees Wu Geng confronting Hei Long with newfound strength, ultimately defeating him and restoring peace to the realms. Their victory is bittersweet because on the day of Wu Geng's wedding, his bride Bai Tai reveals she's at the end of her life, and this integrates before his eyes. Despite his grief, Wu Geng embarks on a journey to find her, leaving behind his comrades. The series ends with Wu Geng standing before their old house, hopeful yet tearful, as the door opens, leaving viewers in suspense about Bai Tai's fate. It's the typical open-ending Chinese dramas like to use, though it's definitely implying she's alive, with the snowman and Wu Geng's smile at the end. In the finale of The Legend of Shen Li, the story culminates in a satisfying conclusion. We're all too familiar with how Princess Agent's ending left us feeling devastated. It's been seven long years, and the joy of seeing the two stars reunited isn't just about their collaboration again. It's like they're intentionally paying homage, such as purposely adding a scene where Lin Gengxin falls into the water, and Zhao Liying rushes to his rescue. This time around, she saves him, and in the comedic tone of The Legend of Shen Li, she gets him out of the water by pulling his hair. Throughout the series, viewers are treated to moments of banter and chemistry between the main couple. Those wanting a serious drama may have been disappointed at the lighter tone of the series, but the supporting cast adds to the narrative with characters like Fu Rong providing comic relief. In the final arc, viewers are treated to revelations about Shen Li's parentage and a touching reunion between her and her father, the fearsome Phoenix King. The climactic battle scene with all the CGI effects deliver adrenaline-pumping excitement, and then more tears follow as Xing Zhu dies from having exhausted his power. There's simply no way this is gonna have a sad ending like Princess Agents, and as expected, he manages to return, thanks to the remaining power from his fallen comrades, albeit not as the all-powerful god he once was, but an ordinary immortal. The final episode no longer has any big moments, but feels like an epilogue, since it revolves around the main couple living together as normally as any couple would, with an arc about helping a friend bag the man she loves. The episode ends with Zhao Liying's character revealing she's pregnant, just as Lin Gengxin's character proposes marriage.